Hey there, I'm Virginia Autry from Hampton, Florida, and today I'm going to show you my pina colada pie. It is such an easy recipe. It's so cool and refreshing, and it's a perfect time of year for this type of pie. When it's hot outside, you want a nice, cool dessert, something easy to put together, won't keep you in the kitchen all evening. Your guests and your family are going to love this pie. So let's get started on what we need for it. I'm going to show you all the ingredients involved and how easy it is to put together. The ingredients I'm using today are a pre-made graham cracker crust. Now you can make a graham cracker crust yourself and I can too, but it's a convenience world we live in. So I'm going to take this shortcut and use a pre-made graham cracker crust. And I'm going to make my pie base with Philadelphia cream cheese. Give it that little zing mixed with some Cool Whip and a can of pineapple that has been drained, and that's a crushed pineapple. I've got a cup of flaked coconut, and I love this stuff, especially toasted. It brings out the flavor of the coconut. We're going to put a little toasted on top, put the rest inside with some coconut milk. For sweetness, marshmallow cream. And on the top, some macadamia nuts, some crunch to go on the top. It's going to be delicious. I can't wait for you to try this recipe yourself. Okay, so our first step is going to be to put the cream cheese in and just mix that up just to get it softened and so we can work with it. So now I'm going to add my coconut milk. That's two ounces of coconut milk. It's good stuff. Okay, so that was our first layer of flavor, putting the coconut milk in. And so now we want to add our marshmallow cream for sweetness. And this stuff is so hard to get out of the jar, you know. But I use a rubber spatula, makes it so easy. And what you want to do is use about half of this jar. So we're just eyeballing it because a smidge less, a smidge more, it's not really that crucial. So I think I've got about half the jar now. So I'm going to help myself out with the beater here and rub it off there. And then we're going to mix that together. Okay, so now we're just going to break the bowl down and just make sure that that is all incorporated. Mm, can you see this? It is just looking so good already. I know it looks all white, but it's so good. You could use that right there for a fruit dip. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is fold in the can of crushed pineapple. And I'm going to reserve, you know, a little bit of this toast, coconut to toast. So let me just sprinkle some on a pan about half of it. So I've got about a half a cup that's going to go in my pie and about a half a cup that's going in the pan. And what I'm going to do is put this under a low roll and just toast it off. And while that's toasting, we're going to add the coconut and pineapple here. And this is where it starts to taste like a pina colada. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so mix that around in there. Oh man, you gotta look at this because it really looks good. This is a pina colada you're gonna have with a spoon. Okay, so now we've got that mixed together. Here comes easy. We're gonna fold in this Cool Whip. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of it and go ahead and mix that through because by incorporating a little bit of it, you can go ahead and get that mixed together and it'll start 
Uh, you don't want it to collapse it, so just mix a little bit in first. Kind of go ahead and condition it. Get ready for more. And then the rest of the tub goes in. And fold that together. Mm, looking so good. And then we're going to actually put it in our pie shell. Get rid of that mixer. Make sure we've got it really folded well. I'll let you look at that so you can see it. Now it's time to load this fluffy deliciousness right into the pie shell. And look how thick this recipe is. It just is perfect. Load it up to make some mile high pie slices. Oh gracious, got to get it all in there. Get all the goody out. Oh man, cannot wait to dig into this. I got company coming for dinner tonight, so they are going to be so impressed with this pie. And I know they're going to want to bread the recipe too. So, there we have it loaded into our graham cracker crust. And I've got, I had a three, three ounce pack of macadamia nuts. And so I took about a third of those, so it's about an ounce. Give them a little chop. Mmm, there's that crunch we were talking about. All over that pie. What's better with coconut and pineapple than macadamia? It's kind of a special nut here in Florida because it's a little on the expensive side. Makes me think tropical though. And then that toasted coconut, isn't that beautiful? Just totally changes this coconut when you toast it. Brings those oils out and just makes it so aromatic and, and it's crunchy as well. So we're gonna put that on top of the pie. Oh, goodness gracious, y'all. This is looking really good. I'm gonna feed them a lot so they won't want much dessert and I'll have some left. Look at that, totally delicious. Okay, so a little garnish. I'm gonna use a couple of fresh, maybe three fresh pineapple slices. And look, I found a little umbrella for pina colada so people know what that is. So there we go, pina colada pie. So to make this a beautiful presentation, I'm going to garnish my plate with a little bit of that toasted coconut. I'm going to put my pie right in the middle of that. Wow. Maybe a little bit of pineapple on the side. That is so cute. I could even give everybody a little umbrella. But I'm going to try this and show you how delicious it is. Mmm. Mmm. Cool, creamy, that little crunch for a good finish. Thank you, Paula Dean, and thank you, Philadelphia Cream Cheese. I have so enjoyed this contest and showing you my recipes. I hope to see you soon. I'm Virginia from Florida.